Hello, welcome back. Holy shit, it's been a while, hasn't it? I am genuinely really excited to film this video because I haven't filmed a video in a while. And like personal stuff, I've done like reviews and like septum stuff. But I've noticed that a lot of people actually like like my content, like me, like my personality or whatever, and that's really, really cool and I appreciate that. Today I am going to be drawing as I talk to you guys, because I do digital art, if you don't know what that is. Um, I'll throw up some pieces here <laughs> of what I do, and that's basically it. Um, I do it for a living. It's not like, I'm not living off it, but like it's like every now and then I make like money here and there. So I'm just going to be drawing and talking to you guys, and I'll show you what I drew at the end. Anyways, so today I'm drawing a tattoo design. Just for people who don't know how digital art works, um, you basically have a tablet like this, drawing on this, and it shows on the screen. Does it make sense? <laughs> Me and my alienware. <laughs> I fucking hated that. I just want to say thanks to those people out there who are still fucking subscribing to my channel even though I don't post like weekly or fortnightly I will post like once a month what do I want to talk about? there's so much to talk about like my life should I talk about my life? I don't know I feel like I can't talk about my life until I'm like 18 cause like I don't know I have a best friend and his name is Michael. He doesn't watch my videos and I know this because he will never approach me about me mentioning that he doesn't watch my videos. Does that make sense? I don't know if it made sense, but it's whatever. It's cool. Some of you will understand, some of you won't, and that's fine. I don't like how much space is around me. I'm gonna zoom in. Is that much? Is that too much? I feel like I might be. I don't know. First thing I'm going to talk about is James Charles. <laughs> I won't ask for my opinion on this, but this is my video when you clicked on it to see me, so I'm just going to say something on it. <laughs> the James Charles stuff that's going on is pretty funny. And it's pretty funny because it all could have been handled privately, like everything should be done. That is on a personal level, especially when you have fucking millions of people watching. And that's a tea. That's all I'm saying on that. <laughs> I went to the Philippines. Um, I'm Filipino and Australian, by the way. And I did some sick shit. Again, I swung with whale sharks in Donsol. If you're Philo and you've been to the Philippines, you know what Donsol is. You know it's a shit. Like swimming with like wildlife and stuff. It's really cool and natural the way that they do it. I fully respect like the the animal, you know, and they respect all the animals there. It's pretty cool. However, they wouldn't respect it if it didn't make money. So there's that, but that doesn't matter because they still respect it and that is what matters. So I came back from the fillers and the second I came back, literally the morning I came back at like 11 a.m. that night I had a Billie Eilish concert. And me and my best friend that I mentioned earlier, Michael, he went with me. And it was like a little cute Billie Eilish moment. And she's like so American. Like I always forget how American these artists are because majority of them are from America. And it's just fucking crazy. Like when you see them in real life and you hear how they talk and act, it's like so American. <laughs> it's not a bad thing or anything. Something I thought I'd mention because it's interesting like she's so american like they're just completely different worlds i'm i think i'm like one month older than her and just the way she acts and talks is like just so fucking different from australia i don't know australia no definitely the whole of australia i grew up which is like campbelltown minto area there's like a whole culture there and it's fucking sick i call it campbelltown culture because it's a play on words like cc campbelltown culture just rolls off the tongue <laughs> and it's really cool I think it's really cool because in Campbelltown we have this whole fucking culture going on and just keep in mind I have only traveled to the Philippines but the Philippines is like next level different shit because that's like poverty and like 
stuff like that. So fucking lucky, dude. I'm in a country where like you don't have to fucking worry about anything. Like you really don't. You need to, you don't need to worry. Like the only thing you need to worry about is just like yourself and like what you're doing and that kind of thing. You know. And that's why I really love Australia because I've never felt in danger like ever <laughs> living in Australia. I've never felt like. I'm in danger. Like, for an example, like if I was in America and there was that many school shootings, just like for an example, I would be fucking terrified to go to school. However, it would be different, obviously, since they actually grew up with it. But I would be fucking terrified to go to school. And you know, all I have to worry about when I went to school was, was fucking making sure my socks were the right length and my skirt was the right length. That was the only thing I had to worry about. <laughs> That's literally it. I went to a private school, um, high school. I went to only public schools when I was younger. See, there's only, like, I'm not religious at all, but I would totally put my kid into a private school, high school, private high school, because they're like, the people in private schools, they're like assholes. But, like, if you go to public schools, like, literally, there's a school called Mount Carmel, and then just down the road is Robert Townsend. And they're like, like, can't, like, they're basically the exact same thing. I don't know. Robo kids are, like, fucking weird. <laughs> I don't know how to describe them. I went to Robo for, like, a week, and I couldn't stand it, because the kids there were just fucking disgusting. And there was only, like, two people I liked. The rest were, like, just fucking... What the fuck? <laughs> there's, there's such a huge difference with, like, public schools and private schools in, um... Australia in my opinion with my own experience, but at the end of the day You know, we're pretty alike We're pretty alike. I mean, we're not that alike. I guess it's more like um like the second I showed up to Robbo The teachers couldn't get a word in with the fucking kids like the kids would be there Like oh, I don't know what your school's like or whatever But when I went to high school or private school, it's not like really strict, but it's like strict for sure But it's kind of proper when you sit down, you sit down to do work and, you know, sometimes you mess around, you get a, in a little bit of trouble, you get maybe detention, you're sweet, you know what I mean? But in Robbo, you sit down and there's kids fucking swearing left and right, screaming cunt, and the teachers are just sitting there trying to teach. And if you want to learn something, you have to actually try and put the work in. Like... Because if you go there, every fucking kid there is literally just screaming and talking and swearing to the teachers. Gross and like just disrespectful. I don't- I'm not saying that's every Robo kid. You know what I mean? I'm not saying- that's their culture, that's what they do, it's whatever. But that's just- just what I'm saying. <laughs> um, also, if you guys remember, I released a video. Let's talk about sex, baby. Now, that video is no longer on my channel. It is unlisted. Which means, if you want to watch it, you need the link to it. And so, the reason why I did that is because I tried re-watching it recently, and I couldn't. I couldn't get through it because I was cringing way too fucking much at the stuff I said. <laughs> I have a sick ringtone. I changed it re recently. Hold on, let's see if I can get someone to call me. Kobe why I told him to call me. He will find out when I release this video. <laughs> but right now, the art that I'm making, that you see me drawing right now as I stare at my screen and talk to you, is actually a tattoo that someone asked me to make for them. It's gonna take a while. By the time this video ends, it won't be done, but um, by the time this video is released, it will be done. So I'll be able to show you. So me and my best friend, Michael, we have been seeing each other since the very beginning of this year, other than the time I went to the Philippines. We've been seeing each other every single week, like every single weekend. And I fucking love it because if you know my situation, I'll give you a brief rundown of it. I'm in a pretty, I don't know, bad, no, I wouldn't say bad headspace, but like just kind of rotten head. No, not a rotten head. What am I saying? I'm really fucking anxious. There you go. I'm really, really fucking anxious, and it's hard for me to just exist. And so he comes over every weekend, and it's really fucking cool. And I really appreciate it, because he really does make my week. 
And next weekend, I'm actually having a really cool Getty, and it's gonna be fucking off its tit. <laughs> If you know what I mean, <laughs> the Australian government. Okay, look, I literally don't know anything about politics. Nothing. I'm 17, I'm living in Australia, like, I fucking know nothing about politics. All I know is that it's shit right now. Really for music festivals. And actually, I was a victim in this because there was a festival that I wanted to go to that had the offspring and bought for my Valentine. And they had like the Smith Street Band, they had Dropkick Murphys, you know what I mean? It was like this really cool festival and it was 16 plus. And I thought that was sick because I was 17 and I was like, fuck yes, I can go to this. There won't be like too many annoying kids. Like I will be that annoying kid, you know what I mean? And then I had to fucking cancel it because they couldn't pay for like the police and like because the laws in Australia are getting stricter on music festivals and it's fucking garbage, you know what I mean? So they had to change it from 16 plus to 18 plus, which really fucking sucked for me because I bought all those tickets. I was gonna go with like my dad, a friend, my brother was gonna be there, I was gonna be fucking sick. Then I couldn't go. And then my dad didn't go because I wasn't going and then I just gave his ticket to one of my brother's friends and they ended up going. And if you know me, The Offspring is literally one of my fucking favorite bands ever, like of all time, and they were the headliner of this thing and I couldn't even fucking go. Like they cancelled it like a week before. Yeah, it's whatever. I'll be 18 in like four, five months I think. It'll be sick, like I'll be sweet soon. But yeah, that was like the shittiest one. And tickets for music and festivals are getting fucking expensive, dude. Because they've got to pay for like the extra policing that the government wants them to and is like forcing them to. So tickets are getting really fucking expensive now and it sucks. So bad. I'm just salty. I think that's an okay outline. I don't know if, if it's tattoo worthy. Oh, I have to be sure actually because it's a fucking commission. I haven't forgotten about that Septon collection video by the way. I will get to it after I finish this video and edit it and upload it. Septum piercing collection will be coming. Here's the art piece I did. So this is a finished piece, just by the way. It's a, it's a tattoo commission. But anyways, if you like this video, feel free to like and subscribe if you did. And um, here are my socials. Feel free to follow them or whatever to keep up with me. And uh, yeah, hope you enjoyed. Till next time, see you in a bit.